Hi, I'm Debbie. Welcome back to my studio. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I usually work in acrylic paint, but we are going to be working in color pencil. And we're going to be creating this leopard eye print. I'm going to walk you through every step. It's actually really simple. It looks very detailed, but you'll be surprised how easy it is if you follow along. So I'll have a list of all the supplies listed below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Once you click that subscribe button, there's going to be a little bell that pops up to the right of it. Click the bell and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I try to upload weekly, but sometimes it can get a little delayed. Like today's video, we had a lot of technical difficulties, so bear with me. Okay, so we're going to start off with drawing our basic eye shape. So you can use your black color pencil. If you're nervous about messing up with your black pencil, you can use a regular pencil, that's fine. Just draw very, very lightly, because if you push too hard, you're going to make an indentation in the paper. Also, the lead of this pencil has that metallic, you know, um, graphite to it. So. You don't want that to show up because it'll be really hard to use color pencil on top of the graphite. So um, just do it very, very lightly. So you want to draw a nice round circle, as round as you can get it. If you need to cheat and you want to use a, well, that's almost the perfect size. You can use a candle, you can use a jar, just outline, get it as perfectly round as you can. Um, but if you can eyeball it pretty good, then that's going to be just fine. So you want to get that circle, and then we're going to come down, we're going to create this little tear duct shape. So right from the top of that circle, just swoop down a little bit past the bottom of the eyeball there. And then we're going to just whip around, curve it a little bit, curve it up, and then have it come right along the bottom of the eye, and it's just going to come right into that shape there. And then right along the top, you can come a little bit lower than the top of the circle and just swoop down just barely below it and you're going to curve down a little bit not even halfway maybe maybe a little bit above halfway and just curve that line out a little bit it's going to be the eyelash line okay so we're just going to outline inner edge of the eye. We're just doing another line right around just inside the inside edge. And you don't have to go all the way to the top, just from below the eyelid here, the top lid, around like this. And then let's draw in a couple lines. Let's do another little camera keeps turning off on me, sorry about that. <laughs> so you're going to do just an extra curved line right there. This is just going to be a little wrinkle in the tear duct there. Okay, so next we're going to take our light blue pencil and we're going to create the highlight in the eye. So this really can be any shape, so it does not have to be exactly like this. Let's do a sort of a diagonal line that's going to be sloping down. I'm just kind of matching. This was a drawing I did last week of this eye, so I'm just copying what I came up with here. So we're going to do kind of an angled line, and then we're going to create some little shapes. And it's going to seem weird at first, but it's going to all make sense in the end. So let's just do a line coming up from the top section. So we're going to cut on top of a little bit of the pupil. And let's just do a diagonal line going like this. And let's make this a, a bigger taller line here, it's going to be a little shorter up here. And let's make that come wider, so it's almost like a, it's going to be smaller here and get bigger, kind of coming wider on this side. And then let's just do sort of a zigzaggy shape along the top. 
And we're gonna break it down into a couple little sections. So let's make this a little section, make that a little section there, and then just do a little squiggle. And then let's color that in. This is gonna be, like I said, the reflection in the eye. And this is so important. You wanna do this part first because this part we want to stay really light. This is what's gonna make the eye look really realistic. It's the reflection that really adds all that cool shape and dimension. And um, you don't want that black to show through. So if you can erase, kind of lighten up that black, the top part of the pupil. Go ahead and erase that. We probably, we shouldn't have drawn it all the way up. So if you're watching this video first and then you're gonna draw it, maybe skip drawing that top part. I should have told you not to do that. It's no big deal, it'll be okay. So you just wanna color right on top of the black. We're gonna come back into that reflection later and add more highlights and such, but for now that'll be good. Then let's take our the same light blue and we're gonna draw just a little highlight right in between where these two lines are here, right where the outline of the, the eye shape was. We're gonna just take that light blue and go right down the middle. And we're just gonna create this little bit of a highlight right there. Let's do a little bit right over on this side too. And then in between these parts too, let's do a little bit of that there. And you can press down kind of hard. Not real hard. Let's not get really solid and hard yet. We'll do that later. And then right along the tear duct outline, let's just do a little bit of this color here. Just kind of outlining on the inside edge of that black line there. All right, that'll be good for now. And then let's take our black pencil again. And we're gonna fill in this outside edge. And we're just gonna outline right next to where that blue highlight was. Make this line nice and crisp. Make sure, if I didn't say this, I don't think I did, make sure all your pencils are nice and sharp to start with. It's always easier just to start off with them all sharpened. And the best way to keep them sharp while you're working with them is to color from the side. If you go straight down, you're gonna flatten it really fast and then you're gonna have to just keep sharpening and keep sharpening. And these pencils aren't cheap, so you know you wanna avoid sharpening them as much as possible, right? Get as much use out of them as you can. You get a little bit of that black on top of it. That's okay. I'm just lightly going over the top of it with just a light, light layer of the black pencil. And I'm gonna take my blue pencil again. And I'm just gonna lightly go over the top of that again. Those little highlights there. I'm gonna add a couple more little Highlights here and here. And then pushing pretty hard now because there's so much black on there. I'm gonna have to push really hard. And this is where your pencils are gonna start doing their blending magic. And you're gonna push down hard on top of the black. And it'll start blending those colors together.
Now this is a little too bright right here. I want this to be a little brighter on this part. That's a highlight focusing right next to the eye. This part doesn't need to be so, so stand out so much. So I'm just lightly, lightly going over the top of it with a little bit of black. And then I'm gonna get really dark black right next to these highlights. Pushing down a little harder now, making sure that's pure black. That can go that again. Drag my pencil over it very lightly. Okay, for now, that is good. Now let's take the black um, pupil and really darken that up. So we're gonna go right around the bottom part. Don't go on top of the highlight. So let's go around those shapes of the highlight. Go a little bit in there. So you wanna see little bits of that black pupil showing through there. So make sure you can still see the curve if it's coming peeking through those designs you made there. And then that bottom part's gonna be solid black. So you can push a little bit harder for this part. Get it nice and solid black. Okay, let's switch now to our darkest green and we're gonna add a little bit of dark green to the top of the eyeball the iris part of the eye and I'm just doing it very lightly to start just getting a little dark green along the top maybe quarter of that and this can come down into your highlight a little bit go around those shapes of your highlight, just along the top edges of the highlight in the eye. It helps to kind of do a harsh outline edge so you don't lose that shape of the highlight. I'm pushing down kind of hard along that outline. And then I'm just lightly coloring in with the dark green. Just do it lightly and go over it a couple times. Too dark too fast. Keep it kind of light at first. We can build up to it. Okay, then we're going to take our medium green, the second darkest one, and we're going to continue with a little bit of that color. Just come down maybe about halfway where the pupil is, about halfway down the eye. So let's just add a little bit of that darker green. Again, a light layer. You can outline the bottom edge of those highlights. Okay, let's move over to the brown pencil. This is kind of a reddish brown. This is a sienna brown. And we're gonna outline right along the edge of the bottom half of the iris, colored part of the eye. So we have another highlight in the eye, right here on the iris of the eye. So we're gonna add, and there's also a highlight here and here. I added a few smudges. I added those in at the end, but let's go ahead and add this and this and this. So let's take our, let's just take our white pencil. We're gonna probably change it up a little bit later. 
but coming in just above where that dark brown outline was. We're gonna do a line curving along this right bottom quarter here. So let's just take a, just a, a fat stripe. And we'll start with white, because then white will keep it nice and bright. Let's do a little highlight there. Let's also just do one coming right out from the pupil. We'll just do a kind of a stripey smudge. Let's do another one over here. It's just not to be an exact shape, we're just doing kind of a smudgy smudge. Let's add white, a little white here and there on the blue highlight. Just kind of blending this, burnishing it into the light blue here and there. Okay. So you'll see when you do try to do the white on top of the black, it doesn't show up very well. That's why, and that's okay for this part. We don't want this to be bright white, but we're gonna want this to be pretty bright. So we're gonna start with white, and then we'll add some other colors on top of that. So let's take a little more of the reddish brown color now. So I wanted to get that highlight in there first. And let's just outline the other side of that highlight. And then coming in from this edge towards, towards the pupil, we're gonna do little lines, little small lines like this from the edge. And just make sure you keep going right to the very center, almost like rays of sun coming in <laughs> towards the center instead of coming out from the center out. They're all gonna be facing this center. So as you're curving around, the angle will change and go towards, towards, towards the center. Don't cover up your highlight. Then let's switch to our golden mustardy color. This one's yellow ochre. And we're gonna come in right from where the brown ended. And we're just gonna add, we're gonna go in that same direction. So now all of our shading, all of our coloring is gonna be in this same direction, coming out from the edge towards the center. So it's just gonna be like little lines coming all in towards the center. Let's keep layering it until it starts to get a little more solid. And then let's take our bright yellow. This is called, I think, canary yellow. I shaped it down so much that it just says airy yellow. So it's probably canary yellow. <laughs> Any bright yellow will be fine. And then we're gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna do a little bit less of this. This is really bright. So this is gonna end up creating some sparkle in the eye. So just right from where that mustardy color yellow that we used yellow ochre left off. We're gonna add some of these streaks of bright yellow. Again, keeping it from the outside edge in towards the very center. We're just creating little lines, like little rays of sun heading towards the center of the pupil. You can keep this kind of streaky. The yellow ochre we sort of blended a little more so you don't really see the lines quite as much, but with this yellow color, you can keep some of those streaky lines showing. It's gonna to start to look more like the colors in an eyeball. You keep those lines. And then next, let's take our, let's take our bright green, the chartreuse, or any bright, bright green. And right from the edge of the pupil, coming in towards those yellow streaks, let's take some of this bright green you can push down kind of hard with this one. Because again, these are gonna be little lines coming out from the center of the pupil, radiating out. And these can be some long lines, short lines. Okay, then we're gonna take our, what is this one called, lime peel. This is just kind of a muted, mossy green color. And we're gonna add some of this right on top of the bright green we just did. Just do some streaks of this throughout. 
And this is just lots of layers of different yellows and greens to give it a lot more depth and dimension and start to make it look really realistic. Because if you look at an eye, there's so many colors in most eyes, animals and humans. You're gonna see lots of different colors. It's never gonna be one perfect shade. So now let's bring a little more color up into this top part of the eye that's going to be a little darker. Let's take our olive green, which is our second darkest green, and we're just going to add some heavier layers into the top part of the eye. And this, because this is going to be in shadow, you're not going to see these lines quite so much, so you can just you can still color in that same direction where the lines are coming from the center out, but it's going to be pretty solid. So, before we get too, too dark, let's add a little more highlight. I'm going to take my light blue and I'm just going to add some little smudges. And these are just going to be kind of random sparks and highlights. And you want to do this before you get too, too dark because sometimes it won't show up if you get real dark first. Sometimes it's harder to lighten it up later. And I'm also going to take, just add a little more smudge here and there, Do a little more on the black. Okay, I'm going to take my blue, the medium blue, the light cerulean blue is what I'm using. This is just I've got my light, light, bright blue, which this one's called Blue Deco, or Deco Blue. This one is the Cerulean Blue, so it's just a few shades darker. It's got a little bit of a warmer blue tone to it. So I'm going to take a little bit of this darker blue, and I'm going to blend it into little bits of this highlight. I'm not coloring it solid. I'm just getting it a little bit darker here and there. just to have a little more variation so it looks like the reflection in the eye is reflecting like maybe a window or who knows what that that is. It'll look like it's something but you can't figure out exactly what it is. You just want to have some different shades, different color variations in there so it looks like it's reflecting something, whatever it's looking at. doing little smudges here and there so it's not just solid light blue. Okay, now let's bring in a little more, let's bring in a little more of that darker brown and I'm just lightly blending, very lightly with my pencil, all on top of the brown I did before. Let's bring it up here a little more. And I'm just bringing some streaks up a little bit in towards the color of the eye. And make sure you don't go in some other random direction. Always keeping it going in towards the very center of the eye. Take our mustardy yellow, yellow ochre again, and let's go over that. We're starting to blend now. Let's take a little bit of our bright yellow, and we're going to tone down this highlight here. Just going to go right over the top of the white, with a little bit of that yellow. Still pretty bright. Let's tone it down even more so with a little bit of our yellow ochre. Take a little more of my brown right above that. I'm going to come a little bit, make this highlight a little bit smaller by just bringing in a little bit of the brown right along that bottom edge. Just 
shrink it down a bit. I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm going to go right on top of that highlight. Make sure there's no other colors on your pencil, like mine has. And now it's got quite a few layers of color pencil. It's getting pretty solid, so you can push down a little bit harder and blend to get that white to really show up. Take a little white and rub it into this highlight here. Okay, let's get a little more green in here. So we're gonna keep it a little bit brighter, the eye a little brighter towards this part. Let's get a little darker here. So I'm gonna take the lime peel again and I'm just gonna add some streaks of that medium green. Again, coming from the center out. And that's not really showing up enough, so let's take it up to the olive green. Just gonna add some streaks, just to give that more color in the eye. And make sure these edges of your highlight are nice and sharp so you can take your darker colors and go right up, outline right along the edges. Okay, back to this. I tend to jump around when I'm creating art, so bear with me. I want the eye a little more greenish. Right now it's very yellow. darker right up next to the pupil there, right around this highlight. A lot of this bright green shown. I want to bring in a little more streaks of darker green. And if you like it brighter like that and you're happy with it, then just leave it. You don't have to do it exactly like me. And again, this is just my technique for doing this. You follow other artists and they have a different way to do it, hey, it's whatever works for you. So I never say my way is the right way. <laughs> There's so many different ways to take on any painting or color pencil drawing. So if you have tips that you like to use and techniques that you find work better, then I'd love to hear them. I'm always open to suggestions for my camera is giving me so much trouble today. It keeps turning off on me when I don't know it. So hopefully you didn't miss too much. Okay, so we're gonna bring in some dark green back into the top part of the eye. So let's take our darkest green. That was the darkest green, dark green. And we're gonna start from the top and we're just gonna get a little bit darker. Get all those areas that aren't solid dark and darken those up. Make sure you don't cover up any little highlights that we added. I'm just kind of burnishing this in. And by burnishing, I mean kind of blending, pushing down pretty hard and just really smudging that color deep into the paper to get it nice and dark. Let's make sure this edge is nice and crisp. Nice clean edge. And just push hard with your pencil and layer it on there. And you'll start to see when you're working with these color pencils, they're very soft so they are great with blending into each other. Once you have a couple layers of color, they really start to blend nicely. I love these. So you don't want to see any of that paper texture showing through. So I don't know what I was talking about when the camera cut off. <laughs> I think I was talking about how there's lots of different ways to attempt a painting or a drawing. So my way is not the absolute only way. Take advice from every artist you can. And if you have any tips you want to share, better ways to accomplish this look or I don't know, any techniques. I'm always open to any suggestions and techniques. I'm learning new things all the time. And I've been an artist for over 
25 years at least. 35, 35, 45. Oh yeah, more than that. <laughs> Over probably, yeah, 30 plus years. It's been a long time. I was doing color pencil long before I started painting, so it's nice to get back into it. Okay, so getting nice and dark there. Let's come down a little bit more just to add a little bit of dark right below this highlight. That'll make it really pop. When you do dark right next to light, it's really going to help make it stand out. Let's do a little dark right next to this highlight here too. We can come down about halfway to make it nice and dark. All right, so let's take our black pencil again and make sure this pupil, actually let's brighten up these highlights as much as we can on top of the pupil before we darken up any more of it. Let's add another little smudge of highlight if we can. Just adding a couple little dots. If they'll show up got pretty dark pretty fast so taking some white and a little light blue you can see once you get that black on there it's really hard to go light 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 on top of it let's just add a little little smudge if you can you have to push down pretty hard to make it show up Make sure I've got a lot of colors on my... If you have a piece of paper off to the side, you can scribble off the color that's on your on your lighter pencils. Get that off of there. Okay. Add a little more of a highlight. Up in here. You can even take a little white and go right Again, on top of this other highlight here, or we did the light blue. Maybe a little more here. There. These would be, we want these to be a little bit subtle, so we don't need those to be bright, bright, bright. Those are just sort of subtle little highlights creating for definition. that tear duct area. I'm going to take my black and get nice and dark. Make sure the edge of your pupil is a nice, tight, very tight outline. It'll really make your reflection of the eye and the color of the eye stand out. Keeping it really, really black. And again, don't cover up any of your little highlight areas and reflections in the pupil. Because you won't be able to brighten those up later if you cover them with black. Okay, I'm going to go in and darken up right along the edge of the eye. Make that nice and crisp. Keep your pencil nice and sharp. Ah! My camera keeps stopping on me today and there was a whole section that just didn't get recorded. So between this part and this part, the video is gone. So I had to redo that section. So I'm gonna insert that here. Bear with me. Probably his fault. I'm sorry for that little camera mishap. So we're gonna start off with adding the hair around the fur around the eye. So you want to pay really close attention to the direction of the fur. So we're gonna start off, we're just gonna add some some hairs. Make sure your pencil is very, very sharp to start off with. We're gonna follow along this line 
and then you're gonna slightly curve up and you're gonna lift off, lift off your pencil and that'll help make that end, end hairline like nice and sharp and keep to a point. So it's just like when you're painting, you just wanna, if you wanna get a fine line with a point to the tip of it, you're gonna push down and then lift off. Same thing with the pencil. So you're just gonna add little hairs and keep them all about the same length and we're just gonna go all along this lash line here. And start small, we're gonna add a lot of layers, so don't try to rush it, and don't get too dark too fast, because we're gonna build up the darks. Okay, so let's just add a couple little lashes curving at the end. So we're gonna go all along, and notice they're curving in this direction, curving like this, curving like this. And then over here, they're not going to be quite as curved. They're going to come up a little more straight. A little straighter. <laughs> and then right here, they're almost coming out in this direction and then kind of coming facing upwards. So if you just want to get we're gonna do a lot of layers, but let's just get these basic directions figured out for which direction the hair is gonna, the fur is gonna be growing. So right here, they're gonna come out this direction, and then they're gonna kind of curve and point this direction. These are gonna be a little longer, and then they're gonna slight, slowly start to turn this direction. And then they're going to turn, so if you picture the hair being in the direction of the pencil, it's turning this way, this way, and then eventually it's going to go <laughs> this way. So you want to make this turn gradual. So you're going to slowly start to turn in this direction, and now they're going to be facing kind of out that direction. Once you get these basic ones laid out, then the rest is going to be much easier. This is like your guideline for what direction the fur is growing in. And then as it comes around here, it's going to kind of curve like this, up that direction. So you're just going to keep going, and now you're going to start to curve it as if it's sort of dipping down and wrapping around the shape of the bone that holds the eye in place. So it's kind of fitting around that. So go along there and curve. And curve. And sharpen your pencil often. I'm going to sharpen mine again. You don't want it dull because you won't get those sharp fine lines and you want these to be very sharp and fine so they look like actual Hairs. And then as it merges here, so these are coming this direction, these are going this direction, they're going to kind of merge together. And you're going to get real dark in there. Just add a bunch of lines. So that's like the basic layout of the direction of the fur. go back and do a second layer to get a little bit darker because there's a lot of fur on a cat but any animal <laughs> so you want to make sure there's lots of layers so it starts to look really thick and full okay then adding the spots we're gonna add kind of a shape coming up like this and like that. So you can roughly lay out a line, a very light line, and then this is going to be, all the rest of this part, it's going to be little tiny lines, so little tiny hairs. So you don't want to just color in, a, color in a big section. It's all going to be little tiny lines. And this hair is growing in this direction, this fur. It's growing up, so the lines are going to go up in that direction. 
sharpen your pencil again if you need to. And then this direction, the fur is growing like this. And then it's kind of curving this direction, so you want to make sure you follow in that direction. See it's slightly turning, like if you look at the pencil, it's kind of going this direction. So that's the direction of the lines. I'm holding my pencil in different directions to try to get sharp edges. So I'm trying to avoid having to stop and sharpen it every two minutes, but you might need to. And that's going to be very important, so definitely take the time to stop and sharpen. Yeah, much better when it's sharp. And I don't remember if I said this in the other video or not, but don't press down on the very flat tip of the brush or the pencil because that will flatten it faster. If you draw your lines using the side of the pencil, it's going to keep it sharper longer. You won't have to stop and sharpen it quite so much. Okay, then let's add some spots. Let's do a little spot over here. So the direction of this fur is going this way, so you want to keep, keep those lines going in that direction. So the hair is growing kind of out that way. So all your lines are going to be in that same direction. Lots of little lines, lots of layers, and it'll start to build up and look like a black spot. Just keeping those little lines short. It doesn't have to be perfect right off the bat, or you can go back in and rework it a little bit more afterwards. Keeping those little short lines. Let's do another spot over here. And again, the fur is growing in this direction, so keep these lines. It's coming this direction. Keep these lines in that same direction. And don't cheat and scribble it in. It's not going to look as good. Let's do some little short lines on the edge, and then rather than doing just long lines, keep them short, just add extra ones. Here. Again, the first growing in this direction, so let's keep it in that direction. And let's add another one here. So this hair is growing in this direction. Let's curve it in that direction. But let's add more black. So we want it to be darker around this edge and darker around here. So you're just gonna do another layer. Sharpen your pencil again. And the same technique, you just wanna go along that edge and then curve it up. Along that edge, curve it up. I'm just gonna add another layer of black. You wanna still see all those lines, all those hair lines. It's for fur lines. They can get a little bit longer here because these are like the eyelashes. But all this fur on the body is gonna stay nice and short. Short little strokes. They get way darker in here, so little tiny short lines all along the edge. Staying with the curve, the direction that we first set out. Now we're going to bring in some white. Whoop. I knew that was going to happen. Make sure your pencil is very sharp and you don't want to get too, too bright yet. So we're just lightly using the white pencil and again, short little lines and you're just going to go. Now we have kind of like this guideline with the black lines already set out, so now we know what direction these little white hairs need to go in. So let's just kind of, and you're sort of bringing them in between where the black ones are. And again, just little short lines. Try not to smudge it into the black too often because you're gonna have to clean off your pencil 
you get the black pencil on your white pencil. You might just have to rub it off every now and then. Time consuming. Just be patient. And I'm just kind of doing rows, overlapping. And then these hairs are going this way, but then they're starting to curve a little bit, the direction of that, so gradually sort of curve them. And they're all going in the same direction. If you're not paying attention to the direction that the hairs are growing, it's gonna really throw it off and look weird. So that's why we set the black on there first to get that direction sort of set. See, now they're facing this direction, going in that direction of these black, that black spot. By setting out these little spots, it kind of helps give you a guideline. If you, when you start doing all the white, you'll know exactly what direction it should go in by looking at the direction of how we set these spots. Takes a while, be patient. See now the hairs are starting to curve this direction. Make them gradual, slowly curving in that direction. So here the hairs are going this way, here they're going this way. Have them sort of meet in between, so they'll merge into that direction, or they'll end up going that way. Don't get lazy and start doing long lines. Keep them all about the same length. It's gonna look more realistic if you keep them all the same length. And it helps to almost keep them going in rows. Just make sure that they overlap so they don't look like lines, marching lines. Yeah, I kind of keep it all sort of like a row of them this way, and then another row of them, and then they can interlock a little bit so they don't look like they're little marching lines. I'm changing direction, so we're following these black ones, and they're gonna all change in that same direction. So it's sort of flaring out this way, that way. Keep them little, keep those little strokes small. Little short hairs. Okay, so now we've got an overall layer of the white hair. Now we wanna go in and brighten certain areas. So let's think about where the light would hit the animal. So right here, you'd have a little bit of that under part popping forward, so the light would be hitting there, that area. So let's do it a little bit brighter all along this edge. So again, with the little short strokes, and we're just gonna go in, make sure your pencil's nice and sharp. We're gonna do another layer. You can push a little bit harder this time. Keep it nice, I need to sharpen my pencil. Nice short strokes. Take your time, again, make every line count. Don't just rush through it. Go back through, a little bit brighter. It takes a while to finally show up and look brighter. Just be patient. Keep it focused right along this section. Hopefully you can kind of see that starting to brighten up now. A 
let's get a little bit brighter up here too because that would be the ridge of the um, eyelid. Got some black on there. Brighten up a little bit over here. Just pick whatever areas you want to pump up of brightness a little bit. Just add another layer. So now as I'm looking at this, I feel like this is standing out too much. We need to have this sort of blend into the eye a little bit more. So I'm going to darken up all these edges to make it really feel like it's sinking down in there. So I'm going to sharpen my pencil again and I'm going to add more dark layers right along this edge and flaring out. I'm going to do some short, short little dark sections too, in addition to some of these longer ones to build up a little more of a darker Let's get a little darker right in this region, right in this little section in here. I also forget what words I'm trying to say while I'm drawing and talking. It's very difficult. A little darker all along the edge there. But don't lose those little hairs. So we need to add some more little skinny ones. The tinier and sharper your pencil is, the, or tinier the lines are, sharper your pencil is, more realistic it's going to start to look. Very detailed. Let's do some more really fine lines in here. Can do some a little longer now. The black, now that we already have the white ones in there, we can go on top with some of these black, really skinny lines. Especially right around the eye here. Add some longer lashes coming out. I really want to get darker right in here so it doesn't feel like such a strong difference between this like tear duct section and where the hair starts. I want to get darker right along that edge. And along this edge too. And this is just going to be like little small hairs. Right along the base. And then do some your pencil again. Do some more fine hairlines. And then right out of that dark base. So now you just want to go in and darken up any areas. You want to get a little more black. Make sure that pencil's nice and sharp.
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. Oh, you want to say goodbye? No? Nothing? All right.